Welcome to the Poor Man's Gourmet Kitchen, where we share gourmet recipes at a low budget wonder. Now check this out. Here's our rack of lamb. Now you want to trim and clean it up a bit. And it comes like this. All you do is peel off this flap here and you cut along that edge right there and it'll come right off. Okay? Just set that aside. Now if you flip it over and look across the bottom, you can do some cleaning and touching up there. I did right here where that fat is. Not a big deal. Right here on this other side here, let's flip it around for you. This is the silver skin. Don't worry about that. You'll just hack it up if you try to remove it. Let's salt and pepper this bad boy. Make sure you get all sides of it. Press it in real good with your hands so you don't lose it when you flip it around. And get the bottom. Now searing is a very important step in this process because the more color it has, the more flavor it's going to get. So you want to do about 10 to 15 seconds per side in some olive oil. Make sure you even dip the sides in. Get the bottom of it real good. Flip it over and get the back side. And as you can see, we've got some real good color on there. See, that's beautiful. Just the way you want it. Now we're going to put some mustard on there. We're going to brush in and baste a horseradish based mustard. Just to give it some good kick. If you want to use a honey Dijon, that's perfect too. Just make sure you smear it evenly, top and bottom, sides, everything. For the next stage. And just let it sit and rest for about five minutes so it can soak in all that nice juicy flavor. Drop some onions in a food processor with some mint. I'm going to use some panko breadcrumbs and we're going to season that with just some salt and pepper. Blend this thoroughly. This will be our breading for the rack of lamb. Get a good close up look here. You can see how pureed it is. Not too fine, but just right. I like to dump it on a wide plate or pan, something that's wide enough for the rack of lamb to evenly coat all these breadcrumbs. You just spread it out here like this with your hand and then take the whole rack right down in the center of it and roll it back and forth until it's completely covered. Flip it over on the back side. Make sure we get that completely covered. And you'll notice as I flip it up here, there's a spot between the fat and the meat of the lamb that hasn't gotten any breadcrumbs in it. So all I'll do is push this over to the side here like this, set her down. And with a spoon, I could just go back over it and fill it in. Press it so it'll hold and stay. No big deal. Again, just make sure you completely cover this for the baking. When you get that finished, just pick it up by the bones, lightly shake off the excess, and place it in a baking dish. We're going to take it to the oven here at 425 degrees for about 25 minutes. After enough time's gone by, take a peek at it. It's a good time to stick a meat thermometer in there and get it about 125 if you're looking for a medium rare. But just to get up close and personal here with it so you can see how she's looking, you can see she's got a nice toasty crust on there. When you pull it out of the oven, make sure you let it rest a good five to seven minutes before you cut into it. And then when it's ready, just pick it up on its end here holding the bones and take your knife starting between the two ribs right down the center, right through the meat. 
It's a real easy cut. There's nothing to it. And it just folds apart like this. Nice. Perfect color. Good crunchy, crispy outside. And just dice and slice the rest of it up. Drop them one at a time. See, they're beautiful. Man, just gorgeous. Just lay them all out like that. Now, this color on here, as you can see, it's rare to medium rare, and that's the way I like it, real nice, juicy, tender. But if that's not your thing, or it's not for your guests, there's something that you can do that's very easy. Take it to your, your grill, or take it to the stove, and sear it on high heat. Just give them each a flip. And as you can see, once again, some gorgeous color. And this way it'll make everyone happy. When it comes to plating, I keep it simple, mashed potatoes and asparagus. And all you do is you prop them up here on their ends, right in the center. It's beautiful. Let's give it a little twist here, give you a better look at it. Now I'm going to introduce the orange chili sauce. A lot of people use the mint, but if you remember we put the mint in the crust. So try this orange chili sauce. You can just get it in any oriental or Chinese section of your store. And there you have it. A rack of lamb right here in the poor man's gourmet kitchen. Beautiful color. Nice crust. Gorgeous. Thank you for watching and be sure to stop by poormansgourmetkitchen.com for more recipes and exact ingredients.